My name is Laurie Strauss. I'm a professor of music at the University of Southampton and together with Deborah Roberts I direct the ensemble Musica Secreta and the choir Celestial Sirens. Together we have spent decades piecing together how women made music in the Renaissance through groundbreaking and award-winning live projects and CDs. I'd like to ask you today for your support to help us make a new CD of some remarkable music that's historically important and stunningly beautiful and really quite unlike anything we've ever done before. In the 15th and 16th centuries, nuns sang more than they did anything else, even sleep. In fact, music was their job. Their weekly routine of singing the divine office ensured the spiritual health of their community, their families, and even their cities. For many young women, however, entering a convent was not a choice. If your family didn't have enough money to marry you to a suitable husband, you probably ended up taking religious vows. On the other hand, for some girls, becoming a nun meant that they could develop creatively in ways that their married sisters couldn't. They could become artists or writers or scientists or, of course, musicians. Many sources tell us how wonderful nuns' music was, but precisely what they sang has been clouded in mystery until now. Around six years ago, I stumbled across a set of motets that were just odd and the only way that I could explain their beauty and their unique sound was to accept that they must have been composed specially for nuns. The thing was, they were published in 1543, exactly 50 years before the first known publication of nuns music, and the collection was completely anonymous. It's taken me a long time, but I now believe I know who composed the works. All the signs point to a princess nun, Suor Leonora d'Este, the only daughter of Duke Alfonso I of Ferrara and his second wife, the famous Lucrezia Borgia. Leonora was only four when her mother died. She was probably cared for by the nuns of Corpus Domini, the convent where Lucrezia Borgia is buried, and she decided at age eight to enter the convent for good. She was a gifted musician, but she would only have heard the music of her father's chapel when she was tiny, and this may have helped her develop a highly original musical voice. This summer, Arts Council England awarded us some money to work on these motets, which need a different approach to our accustomed way of singing 16th century polyphony. We now want to record them so that we can share them with the world. Of course, recording costs money, so between now and Christmas we're hoping that you'll be able to help us raise at least £4,000 to get the project off the ground. This won't cover all our costs, but it's a start. We are of course hoping to raise more, and if we raise enough we might even be able to go on tour. There are plenty of rewards, from tracks from our existing recordings to the opportunity to be Duke or Duchess for the day with a private performance from your very own Musica Secreta. So I'd like to ask you please to do two things for us. First, pledge whatever you can to help us bring this wonderful music back to life again. And second, please share our campaign with your friends and colleagues on email or Facebook or Twitter so that they can get involved too. Thank you so much.